thank you for, for this topic because it's uh, been working for Black Press. I'm very proud. Sentinel has been around. We're going to be celebrating 85 years next year. Yeah. Um, the Watts Times is, I think, we're around 50 years now. A lot of rich history, a lot of rich archives. But what's happening around the country, um, our black newspapers are being bought by non-African Americans strictly for the imagery, yeah. strictly for the archives. Of because we had uh, Martin Luther King, we, yeah. we photographed Malcolm X. You yeah. know, you you have one of the famous photographs here at the Sentinel, Malcolm X's grandson, yeah. rest in peace, yeah. who's one of the last photographs of him right. under right. A, a famous picture of his grandfather, right. Malcolm X. So yeah. these are the images, and we got that story because black press. So we're able to extract stories like no one else. But if we ultimately lose that. The industry itself, and I'm still an advocate. We're not going nowhere. I'm gonna make sure, but this is the fight that we're fighting. Okay, you know? look at it like this: if just say Getty buys up all the the archives of all of the black press, all their photo archives. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they have pictures. So black, the black press have pictures of what Michael Jackson originally looked like. Mm. Before his, you know, <laughs> before he did his cosmic makeover. So, fast forward 200 years from now, mm. and, and our great, 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 great grandchildren see a picture of Michael Jackson. He's white. Hmm. Now, where where are the original pictures of Michael Jackson? With Jackson Five or, or, or Off the Wall album. <laughs> All those pictures are put up. Yeah. Don't release those. We can't release them because we don't own them no more. We didn't gave them away. So in other words, they can change the whole perception of our heroes and what they really were and put their spin on it because they own the image. Change our story to his story. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, look, I, I appreciate your time, Malcolm, and I, and I thank you for opening it up and going on record with this. I think it's fitting that putting you, because you're, you're, you're a mentor to me, and yeah. I appreciate your knowledge. What what needs to happen? How can this change? What is you tell us? Well, how how do we combat this? I think uh, one thing that's going to have have to happen is is uh, it's going to have to go. I believe it's going to have to all the way go up to legislation, mm. where uh, you have companies that try to monopolize everything, mm. like they did with uh, when uh, Bill Gates. They said he was trying to monopolize. Uh, something in the computer industry. Yeah, yeah. And it went all the way up to Congress, mm. or to the United States government. I think that's what's going to happen in this situation with, with uh, Getty Images, mm. you know, and trying to monopolize all the war shows with their photographers, with their, um, with their power, controlling all the images. I think it's going to have to be, because we're all taxpaying paying citizens, you yeah. know, we have to have some voice. Yes. And I think that's uh, where it's going to have to go. Also, I think that the celebrities themselves are going to have to start demanding hmm. that where is the position for the black photographer? Yeah. How come we don't see any black photographers? Well, we got one or two, but you got you got one or two, but you got 50 white boys up there. Hmm. You know, so you're going to say you can only let one or two of us get there? Yeah. You know, what about uh, when the different award shows pop up? Why is it that when the black press sends in their credentials, why is it that we're always denied? Mm. There's no space. Mm. And then when you, somebody does go, they see the space. So it's gonna have to be a fight. We're gonna have to do it through the media, the, the celebrities, and local government, mm. you know, to stop this uh, the stuff that's going on. Otherwise, we're gonna be cut out of our own history.